So you've already been exposed to arithmetic operators. We had a previous quick look at this when we were talking about floating point numbers. However, now it's time to really discover what are all of those arithmetic operators that are available to you. These are very, very important operators. And in order for your program to have some real kind of logic and functionality, you must understand these operators. On top of that, one of those operators is the plus symbol, which in a standard equation would do what you expect, which is add numbers together. However, with JavaScript, the plus operator is also used for concatenation. Again, we looked at this with primitive data, but we'll take another look at it again. Finally, what we want to do is take a look at bod mass as well. Bod mass is actually very, very important because that is the order in which your statements are executed. Bod mass applies again only to mathematical equations and is the order of importance. We'll also learn about bracketing and so on and so forth. And that is extremely important because if you don't understand bod mass, you will get results that you do not expect. So to learn these simple operators again, we're going to open up the console and take a look at some direct output from the JIT compiler. Let's do a simple addition. 4 plus 4 equals 8. Perfect. Now, the problem is with the addition operator, as mentioned before, is it's used for concatenation with strings as well, which can cause all sorts of confusion, especially when you're running your programs. And that is that they forget the one golden rule that strings always take precedent. Notice how I showed you primitive data, strings first, and then numbers. So strings take precedent. So whenever you add a number to a string, what you will get is a string. So let's do four plus and then say string. You're going to get four string. And it doesn't matter which way it is around. You could say add four onto the end. You're going to get a string as well. So strings always take precedent in JavaScript. So that's addition. Very quickly, we have subtraction. I'm sure most of you don't really need to watch that, but four, negative four, zero. And then also we have multiplication, which is defined by the asterisk. So four times four equals 16. Then also we have divide. Now divide in programming is symbolized by the backslash. So four divided by four is one. And then also we have what's called a modulus. This is something that you may not have been exposed to prior. So if I say four and then I type in the modulus and four again, we get zero. OK, well, that's a little strange. Let's try four and then we're going to pop in the modulus and then we're going to type in five. What you're going to get is the value of four. So this is uh, very strange. So what is a modulus? Well, a modulus is simply returning the remainder of a division operation. So let's take a look at this. We had four divided by four and the remainder is zero. So four perfectly divides into four. We also have four modulus five, which returned four. Why is that? Well, four divided by five. Well, unfortunately, five doesn't go into four. So the remainder is four from that equation. Let's do 27 divide by 16 or modulus by 16 and give me the remainder, which will give 11. Well, here we have the remainder value. What's left over after the divide has happened. So 27 divide by 16. Well, 16 will only go into 27 once. It can't go in twice. So therefore, what we have is 11 left over. So this is very useful because if there is a remainder, we know that this number is not divisible into another number. Now let's give this more perspective as to why this is important, because we can detect very easily if we have an odd or even number by creating a modulus divide by two. If there is a remainder left over, we know this number isn't divisible by two, 
and every single even number is divisible by 2. So if we have a remainder, it's an odd number, and if we have 0, it means it's an even number. It's divisible by 2 with no remainder. So let's take a look at this. If I say 3, and then we say modulus by 2, we have a remainder. If we have a remainder when we try to divide by 2, we know it's an odd number. So for example, 10 modulus divide by 2 is going to equal 0, and every other even number that you can think of will be divisible by 2 and leave 0. This is one of many examples that you could use the modulus divide for. Bod mass is a law of mathematics, and your computer and your calculator follow the laws of mathematics, which is bod mass. Bod mass is an established order. It's an acronym to help us mathematicians understand how calculators work out, or computers work out, mathematical equations. So, first of all, you have brackets. Brackets take precedent. Let's have a use case example for brackets. I'm going to say 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1, and we get that anomaly because of the way computers store binary floating point numbers, 3.000004. Now, what I did then was to say how to solve this is 2 plus 1, and then I divided by 10. But I didn't just write it like that, because that gives us 2.1, which is a problem. Instead, I said, in brackets, I said 2 plus 1, and then outside of the brackets, I said divide by 10, and it gave me 0 0.3. If I don't put the brackets in there, I get 2.1, which is a little strange. So let's take a look at the first equation that went wrong, which was this equation. 2 plus 1 divided by 10 gave me the very strange number of 2.1. This is where we need to remember bod mass. Whenever you get a value that you're not expecting and you can clearly see what value you want, then usually it means you've forgotten the rule of bod mass. So you'll need to say this several times over in your mind but bod mass is an acronym. Brackets, orders, divisions, multiplications, addition, and subtraction. That is the order in which your mathematical statements are produced. Starting with the most important, brackets, to the least important, subtraction. So, let's have a look at this. We can see that division is higher than addition. So, What's happening here is, with the bod mass law, is it goes immediately to the division. So it does 1 divided by 10, which gives us 0 0.1. 0 0.1, and then it says plus 2. So it actually didn't follow it left to right. That's not how mathematics works. It goes to the most important operators to the least important operators. So we ended up with 2.1 when we did this. This is where we use brackets. Brackets are the most important in bod mass, and that allows us to isolate certain parts of our equation and make sure that the computer does that first, and then everything outside the brackets is done after. So for example, I say 2 plus 1, now, this will be done first and foremost because it takes precedent over division. So, it goes to the brackets first and then we say divide by 10. So, it went to the brackets, 2 plus 1 equals 3, divide by 10, which is the second precedent, divide by 10, 0 0.3. Now, also, there are two other mathematical operators I haven't actually shown you which is increment and decrement, which is where you're supposed to take a number and say plus plus and it adds one, or take a number and say minus minus, and it takes away one from the number. These operators are actually extremely useful when it comes to loops and other things, which you'll look at later on. However, if you do it directly on a number, you will get an error. So these numbers need to be contained within a variable in order for you to use these operators. 
So I won't go in depth right now, but I want you to keep remembering all about bod mass and mathematical equations. And let's do something even more complicated. So here's an equation I've provided for you. Let's go through this and see how the laws of bod mass work. So we have, first of all, two sets of brackets and brackets always take precedent. So which one will it work out first? Well, it will at this point go to the very first set of brackets. They come absolute first. And it's gonna look inside of these brackets and it's gonna work out what's inside of it. So we got five plus five and that's gonna equal 10. Now it's not immediately going to say divide by two plus. No, it's gonna ignore this for the time being and go to the next set of brackets and work that out. And it's gonna look inside of these brackets and it's gonna figure out that, okay, we have two operators and one takes precedent over the other. Well, bod mass, the D, which is division is above M in mass and therefore multiplication comes after. So division comes first, four divided by four equals one and six times one is of course six. And then it will do divide by two plus six. So we divide by two and remember, don't forget bob mass still applies here. It's gonna go to division first. And so that's gonna give us five, five plus six equals 11. So that's what we're looking for in this equation. And again, I can just go ahead and open this up, hit return, and guess what? We get 11 from this equation. So always remember, bod mass, bod mass, bod mass. Remember that law, remember those rules, and you will be very successful with your mathematical equations and always get what you expect.